is appointing you to judgment if you don't cut out that mess you've been doing and you will not face in your own life. Now, I can say amen because I'm a human being, a man. I'm constantly being bombarded by the world, the wickedness and the evils around me, and I'm constantly having to stare on my face before God and say, Lord, lead me, God, lead me, because without you, I will go crazy. And he would say, oh, yes, you will, preacher. Now, if you think I have to do that, what about you for? Well, I've been on the board 35 years. Yeah, but that may be your problem. You need to get off the board and sit in the pew and learn how to grow up. See, sometimes you let your position blind you of what God wants to do. Oh, do you know who I am? Hey, I know who Jesus is. You, you're nothing. Say amen. Well, I don't like you. Right, I love you. What's your problem? <laughs> See, man, my friends, Christianity is more than just the quaint phrases. Christianity becomes a way of life to the believer. A way of life. God has given each of us a charge to keep. And as you see, see, Pastor John here is good for the church in Simi Valley. And Pastor John here is good for the church in South Central. And I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes people are walking out of it and they think, well, this is going to be one of those traditional things. And I see it because, see, I come out with my preaching role going, oh, yes, these are traditionalists. And I'm looking at them now. Huh? I know what they think. I know what they think. Now I'm going to give them what they didn't think. <laughs> I give them this. And then they say, ooh, what's this? I said, this is the Bible. Ooh, I know. Yeah, I know. But it's going to be all right. A good brother today, he joined our church. Oh, he's a beautiful guy. I got to share this with you. He says, Pastor John, he called me at the house yesterday. He says, Pastor John, I want to join the church. He says, why, brother? You've only been there three times. What's the problem? He said, I heard you on the radio, and you're just blasting everybody right and left on the radio. And this guy said, who does this guy think he is? And he cut it off. Bam! Then he cut it back on. I'm still blasting. I said, oh, the church is dumb. The church is impotent. These preachers are just taking the people for a loop. The people ain't but The guy turned off. Who does he think he is talking about believers? And then he turned it back on, and then when he turned it on the third time, he says, my God, I dropped my head. He says, that guy's talking about me. Mm. And that guy's been from church to church to church to church. He came this morning, stood before us in Olivet, and said, I want to be part of this body, because, man, you are just telling it like it is, and there is no cover on it, and that's all I want. I said, my friends, that is what Christianity is. Yeah, yeah. Christianity is taking the word for what it is. No frills on it. And Paul loved them because of that. You see, the word did something to these folks' heart. It denoted a fact. In other words, something took place in their lives. The word was more than the intellectual ascent of the mind. I think I said it the other night on the radio, I've never been to New York City. I believe it's there. I've never been there. I've never been to New York, but I believe it's there. Now, if you ask me, do you believe in New York? Of course I believe in New York. Have you ever? I've never experienced it, but I believe it's there. There are many people in the church that's just like that. They've heard of Jesus. They believe that he's here, but they've never experienced him. They've experienced the frills of religion, serpents, outward stuff, deeds and doing, no completeness of heart. They're yet empty on the inside. They say, what do I, what do, I do so empty? Because if you, what you've got to do is you've got to come to him on his terms and do like these Thessalonians did, my friends. And when you do it that way, something will happen. Something will happen. What does the hearing of the word of God do for you? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Some of you might say, nothing. I'm just listening to another message, man. Hey, what you saying is going right over my cerebral cortex, man. Hey, it don't mean then let's squat. When I get out of here, I may come up and shake your hand. After I want to hit you, but I won't do it because your friend, no, my friends won't be around you. Hit me. Hit me. I'll hit you back. I said, wait a minute. You're going to knock me because I told you the truth? I'll hit you back. It's true, you heathen. Repent. I in the church want to fight the poor preacher. All the preacher want to do is give him eternal life. Take it. Take it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I've never heard it this strong before. What kind of a church do you go to? Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You've spoken 15 minutes. It's time for us to get out of here. Wait, where are you running to? Mm -hmm. I got four points and I'm only on the second one. Chill! Ch chill! See, that's what's the matter with the church. Oh, I know how it is. Looking at your watch Sunday morning. Oh, it's lunchtime in the cafeteria. Stop it! That cold chicken will be there when you get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That stuff been cooked for four hours, don't you know it? And they just waiting on you to come in so they can dump it in your stomach. Listen to the word of God and get full off this stuff so you can some spirit stuff here. 
tables or freedom to sin. You see, they didn't do that. And that's what the word does today. The, the preach word disqualifies you in sinning. You mean I can't do that? No, you can't do it anymore. Some of your husbands are thinking about leaving these ladies. You better stop that. You're not leaving anybody. You're going to go right home. You're going to stay there. You're going to put up with her. She's never going to be Miss Perfect ever in your life. Ever. And when, and when you look at her, you're going to look at her and say, how can I marry her? Yes, lust, 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 lust.